gentlemen, hello, and welcome back from the MLG studios in New York City. You're watching MLG's coverage of IEM New York City Day 3. I'm Axel Toss. I'm joined by Axelab. We're watching Zest versus Life, and we're tied 1-1 one -one on a Game 3, where the winner moves on. Loser goes home. Loser goes home, man. That's, I mean, well, Loser can walk around Comic-Con. They can come over to the offices and hang out, maybe. That's true. I would hang out with the Loser this game. Maybe play some show matches against them. Uh-oh, what's that? What's that there looking next to life? That earlier pull again? No, no, this is fairly, fairly normal. Well, before hatchery at least. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not going hatchery first. Of course, uh, uh, over here in the bottom, we do have life. The red Zerg. Yep. And his opponent in the top of Polar Knight, the blue Protoss Zest. And I, I do think uh, life is a player who will go hatchery first. But I'm not sure if I would ever recommend going hatchery first against Zest. Yeah. Because he almost always opens Nexus first. He opens a lot of early forges. He will block that hatchery. Uh, so, so life is playing a little bit safer opening. But like what's, in what's interesting is the one time you know he decides not to go hatchery first, Zest goes for a build that hatchery first would have been ideal against. Right? Because he's going for a gateway expand um, with a later scout. This is the first time I've seen Zest do this, and he could not have stopped the hatchery first. So um, interesting. The way things kind of work out in, in StarCraft 2. Tied 1 1. If we remember the game these guys played on this match yesterday, Life made like 70 queens in the first eight minutes, and he spread creep across the map, and it actually he got to his opponent's third base of the creep like in like five seconds. It was pretty fast, and he applied a lot of aggression. So I'm wondering if he goes for a similar strategy. Zest, is he going to change things up? Because he's been going for the same the, the same Stargate, you know, a few gateways, I don't know, Robo. If your opponent gets a Rotorn, get an Immortal out. If your opponent's going straight for Hydras, rush to Colossi, then get that third base. So do you see Zest deviating a little bit, or are we going to see same old, uh, it's, it will certainly find play, but macro base play, expansion base play? We know what's interesting is, is so far in, in this group, right, we saw Zest play three games against Life in, in his first series. Yeah. Three games against TLO in his second series. Uh, and then two more games against Life Just Now. Every single one of those eight games he played, he always went either Forge first, the Cannon Rush, or Nexus first. Yep. So this is the first time uh, in, in all of his PVZs, he's only played PVZs actually so far in IEM, he's in an all Zerg group, that he's gone for this gateway expansion. So uh, maybe he'll play a little bit differently, but so far he's still just going gateways and Stargate. It's going to be a fast three gateways. Does he have a probe across the map anywhere? No. He may, he may send one out fairly soon right now. Of course, life uh, did get speed early in case there, there was a, a probe coming out. Um, but he did, he did also, you know, still take his third very quickly. He took his third before he built a second queen, which is kind of important. You know, a lot of Zerg players delay that third against a gateway expand. Yeah. Life says no. I'll just get speed, but I will still get the third base. Phoenix is on the way from Zest. He's not even worried about hiding it. It's just fine. That's what he does. It works for him, and it works well. He's always able to make them work. Of course, you're, at the very least, you're forcing your opponents to make some spores. Ideally, you get a queen or two. Go after drones. Go after overlords. Got a mothership core coming forward here from Zest. Doing a little bit of scouting. Maybe kill a creep tumor if you can be fortunate enough to find one. But, queen's uh, gonna queen's shoot him away. Get out of here. You are not allowed over here. This is Zerg territory. But that mothership core is a little bit hurt, and both physically and emotionally. Uh -huh. So he will make sure to take down that queen a little bit later. Just so you know, uh, so, yep. a sentry can take on two Zerkings. They're fighting one at a time yep. and not die. Cutting it close there. Yep. I like how he, he was that confident, though. Is I'm not going to use a force field. Just he knows, he knows take all some the math. damage. He knows yep. all the mathematicians' ship. So we are seeing, even though Zest opened a little differently with the gateway expand, yep. we are seeing, you know, almost identical. It's three gates instead of four, right? Uh, before the, the robo. But of course, the three gates have been up for uh, you know substantially longer because it was gateway expand. So overall, very very similar to how he was playing, uh, at least his development of the build uh, compared to his other games. Quick plus one melee attack here. So that's yeah. telling me that's some ominous foreshadowing. And life uh, definitely mixing things up. Yeah. Let's. See, I mean, he loves the zerglings. There's a roach one. So this might be a little like a, a Massling Roach play toward that third base once Zess decides to take that down. This is, the, the plus one is kind of tied behind when a third base is on the way from Zest. Yeah. At least when it finishes. So that, that opens up some options for life. It's going to be a little bit easier to deny that Nexus with those plus one upgrades. 
I'm curious about the roach horn. I'll have to see, is that just a precautionary tale in case Zest comes out of a time and he needs to build roaches? I think um, it, it, do you think it might be to delay it? Because, like, if you remember last game, Zest delayed his Colossi a bit. Just a little bit. Once he saw the yeah, yeah, it could be like a mind game thing. Yeah, Trying to get so Zest like, to get an immortal, and then he might not even yep. get any roaches. This goes straight to, like, Ultratus or something. Exactly. Um, well, I guess the mortals are pretty good against those, too. But maybe just, you know, at least in the mid, mid game against the speedy. So she's only, only mass link to the their face. The first one is kind of a fake. Huh, that sentry really? somehow staying alive. Trying to kill that probe. Oh. Yeah, he wants the sentry, too. <laughs> that sentry That's will not die. That's the same sentry from before. Yeah, it's a mentor now. Teaching, okay. teaching the rest of the Protoss, got though. got a billion links out here. Yeah, and he's making 32 more behind us and, uh, and a Hydra Den. Plus one attack is moments from completion for life. Can he get this space? He wants that Sentry. Oh, he's going after it. The Mentor. He made no. it personal. See you later, Sentry. No, he's still alive. He's still alive. Up to 7 oh. health damage, he's gone. Well, nice knowing you. I think that, I think that he definitely made life pay for these Sentry yeah. kills. Um, a lot of Zergans have gone down. You see 37 units lost for life. The Zergans are plus one here. I mean, this is worth it if you can finish off the, the Nexus. And you know, yeah, with the, with the upgrade advantage... Uh, oh, there is attacking happening in the National... Those okay, are just Phoenixes, yeah, 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 yeah they're okay, just getting harassed. Yeah. Um, yeah, with plus one oh. attack, these guys are vicious little creatures. They are. And this Zest Nexus is, may go down. Zest is slowly realizing what's happening. And again, this is that timing he was looking for. The claws are not yet. Against yeah. plus one links, you kind of want Colossus or like a mass amount of Zealots. We just saw eight Zealots. Yeah, you guys just don't even care. shredded away by those, those feisty servers. And now the third base is gone. Pro missed the memo. And Zest third is going to be a little bit delayed. So Life's certainly going to be happy about that. Game ending, yeah. game changing, not necessarily. Now, Life did make a lot of links to make that happen. His drone count isn't as amazing as it would be. Ooh, ooh Steve Phoenix is. is out here. Yeah. So, overall, where do we stand, Mr. Nick? You know, I, I do think Life's pretty happy with this. Uh, behind us, he could have droned up, but instead he's deciding he just wants to stay at a low drone count he and continue to deny the third base. Now the question is, if he can do this, he'll be looking great. Um, and you know, Zest lost a lot of Zealots early. He only has four Zealots with this he's army. Oh, yes. great time warp. Kind of has to make a decision how, how he wants like... Oh, the Hydras are coming in here. Uh-oh, okay. Okay, good force field. Zest back up. Zest wants uh, nothing to do with the Hydras. The Lynx able to close the distance, and the Lynx actually targeting down the Colossus. This is how powerful a bunch of plus one Lynx can be. Hydras coming forward as well. They're in the time warp, but making their way so close to the Zealots, to the Colossus. And Zest has to be so careful the Colossus. They're so important they stay alive when dealing with this leading Hydra competition. This guy's just hiding. And he's ha he has to cancel that third base. And now yeah. Life oh, no. I mean, the natural, and it's an open, it's an open path. Play. This made us be game. All right, it's okay. The master's coming back. Here he comes. Master and commander. Oh, he's going to show him how it's done. Too. No thermal lance quite yet. It's still in production. No, oh, he gets surrounded. There are the links. And, and there's the GG. Wow. wow. You know, that was a really cool, like, life has definitely done that before. He's figured out that evolution, you know, the, the upgrade, the upgrade timing. Yeah. He's figured out the way Zest was going about his builds and saying, you know what? Your builds are safe. Uh, you, you have... You have, this, you have like eight Zealots, two Sentries, uh, and, and a Colossus when I try to hit with that Hydra timing. But if I hit 60 seconds sooner, right? Like if I hit right when my lair finishes, I'm just starting my Hydra in, right? Yeah. And I have plus one melee weapons. You're only going to have like two, three Sentries and like five or six Zealots or something like that, or maybe eight Zealots. But you won't have the Colossus out yet. You won't have like 12 yep. Zealots. And like, if you only have eight Zelts, Zergings will just, I mean, yeah, they have like 50 Zergings, which, yeah. I mean, with Life's Inject, you can you can make those. So, if this was a best of five, I kind of wish it was. Um, yeah, these guys are so even yeah. matched. Yeah, oh, God, such good games. Um, how would how, Zest kind of adjust to that type of style? You know, honestly, he may just, uh, he may make sure he gets four warp gates, because um, right now he was trying to do that with warping in three Zelts at a time, mm -hmm. because off a of gateway expansion. Yeah. He may just go back to his normal Nexus first build, Four warp gates at a time. Like, if he had like three more gateway units there, he, like all of a sudden there's a huge difference between yeah. all your units getting surrounded and killed and having enough that you, you can't be taken out. So it might have been something like that. Or maybe if he sees the speeding crying out, he makes like an oracle to help defend. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I mean, yeah, you could always do that. Um, wow. I mean, he's, he's there, there's a couple options you yeah. have to deal with that, yeah. and, and I'm sure he would he would figure something out. But it is not the best of five. It's not. It is the best of three, and Life's going to take a two to one. It means Zest is eliminated ah. from I Am New York. We're going to see Life in the quarterfinals coming up later today.